Hello, this is Abzine. Welcome to the second part of the best start I've ever had in Medieval Dynasty so far. As I stated in part 1, with best start I don't mean a quick hack or strategy to make as much money as possible, but rather making the right choices and lucky finds to catapult you through the early game. So, we left off with me having found enough random loot to sell it and buy myself a bow. The bow is literally a game changer in early game, since the first ranged weapon you have access to, the wooden spear, is somewhat lacking in range, damage and precision. This makes it very difficult to hunt, especially animals that fight back, and even harder to defend against bandits. I went to visit the cave or mine I intend to exploit in this playthrough and found it plagued with bandits. So, after that, I went straight to buy the bow and was returning to kill the bandits when I clumsily stumbled upon a bear. Bears are mighty enemies to find unexpectedly, particularly at this stage of the game where you have no damage resistance, low HP and bad aim. So, of course, I ran like hell. Fortunately I managed to control my panic and run in the direction of the mine. In my experience with the game, I've learned that when escaping bears, running over steep hills and cliffs is a good idea, since bears don't seem to run as fast through them as the player. So I do that, and manage to escape. So, my plan was to sneak from the hill behind the cave entrance and snipe the bandits from an unreachable spot. However, as I was trying to find someone to shoot, I came to the horrendous realization that they not only heard me coming, but somehow managed to sneak upon me, and I wasn't able to see them, not even from the vantage point I had. To this day I still can't understand how this happened, but it was time for plan B, run away and try to kite them. I'm still not sure on how the enemy's behavior works in this game, especially for humans, but in this situation there seems to be three factors that worked in my favor. First, when they reach a certain distance from their spawning place they seem to have a chance to start trying to return there. Second, when they're being pointed with a bow and arrow to the face they seem to have a chance to flee for a few seconds. Third, they seem reluctant to get close to an NPC town. Now, this is all conjecture, but it seemed to have worked, since I was able to kite them to a point where they were on an attack flea loop, which allowed me to shoot them down one by one while keeping a safe distance. It wasn't easy, because I had to manage my distance and aggro to them in order to make sure they wouldn't just leave. Even though I love them, I'm generally bad at video games. Also, 
I was playing with a controller instead of mouse and keyboard, since I usually play at the end of the day when I'm too tired even to be sitting down. This, and the fact that in early game you have terrible wobbly aim as a character, made the fight way longer than it should have. I started fearing to run out of arrows as well, and with less than half of my HP left, I'm not willing to take any chances. So, the fight goes on and on, with a lot of missed shots on my part. Nevertheless, after a while, I managed to take out the last of the melee bandits. Now it's time to go for the ranged one at the entrance of the cave. But before that, I eat a lot of broadleaf plantain. They're supposed to be used in the making of healing potions, but eating them gives you a little bit of HP back. Luckily, another of the good choices I made is to set myself a rule for this game. Pick up broadleaf plantain, every single time you see one. As you can see, fighting bandits in this game is a high-risk, high-reward endeavor. The loot they drop themselves and the one found in their bases is usually pretty high value. Especially if you're just getting started and produce nothing in your settlement. I'd say bandit hunting is one of the most lucrative efforts you can do in early game, as long as you're equipped with at least a basic bow. Remember to always save though, since you're pretty squishy at the beginning. I'm going to sell most of this and use it as capital to improve the rest of my playthrough. One of the things I love about this game is how it mixes action with resource management and economics. Unlike most RPGs, selling loot can be an investment that can dramatically increase your money-making capacity. Now it's time to deal with the ranged bandit. I do it with the classic dodge and shoot, I learned from playing Skyrim. Since reloading a crossbow takes forever, every time he shoots and misses it gives me time to load, aim and shoot. Rinse and repeat until he goes down. I'll cut this part, but I made sure to loot every single body and crate left behind at the bandit camp. After that, I picked back up most of my arrows, went to the nearby town and sold almost everything, except for a few cheap edibles. Now, here I had a bit of luck and a bit of good choice making that dramatically improved my playthrough. At this town there's a clothing vendor. One of the most challenging aspects of early game is that your carrying capacity is very limited compared to the amount of resources you have to move around. Even building the most basic house takes a long time at the beginning since you can't carry much of the required materials to the building site, so you have to go back and forth over and over again. It's even worse if you want to build a log house. Another difficulty is the cold during winter. You can die, and making yourself warm clothing requires you to unlock the sewing hut, which takes some time. So, I bought myself the best backpack and pouch to almost double my carrying capacity, and I also bought some warm clothing. If you've played this game then you'll know these items will greatly improve my gameplay from now on, making it way easier to build, gather building resources, hunt, mine and I will be able to do all of that even during winter. 
So, those items, and the events that led to me being able to get them this early in the game makes this the best start I've had so far. I hope you enjoyed these videos and that they'll be of some assistance if you're starting with this game. I'll be uploading more Medieval Dynasty content to my channel, so subscribe. I also make true crime and paranormal videos. Thanks for watching.